Hi guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. As you can see, it's obviously in a different location. So this time, I'm definitely not at work. Uh, and the reason I'm so sarcastic about that is because there seems to be a cancer in biomed shops. And this cancer is negative people. And what I'm talking about is my first day working at this job, I immediately could tell the people that were negative telling me that this place is horrible that no matter what you do it's never going to be better and then there's the other people that are positive and they were the ones that were telling me man we can't wait let's be on a team let's go do stuff we should work on work orders and pairs and smash out some pms those are the positive people i had people that were telling me that no matter what you do it is what it is and it's a big ship and it's too slow to turn around and there's nothing you can do well the first week I was at this job I noticed that there was garbage all around and so the first thing I did is I went around and I started cleaning up I'm talking like real garbage like empty cardboard boxes and you know just junky equipment that has been three or four or even six years past this last p.m. so it's just sitting on shelves in this weird dirty storage area so I was going through that area and just seeing what I can find, see what's serviceable, see what's definitely not serviceable, and trying to clean the area up. And then I noticed a couple other people, they started cleaning up their areas too. You see, that's the thing, is when you're positive and when you want to make a change, there's some people that will, they will just start helping you and it's, it's contagious. And just the same is the people that are negative. And so what's going on? is after I started working at this company, um, I was reported for that video. You remember the one where I showed an empty room and I wasn't wearing any uniform. I was just in regular civilian clothes, no scrubs, no nothing. And I was in an empty room and I said, this is my future biomed shop. Well, that video got me talked to by my supervisor because our hospital has a no recordings policy. And even though the people that hired me, they know that I do this as a training tool, um, still, it's a black and white policy and I should have known better. Uh, forgive me if I'm a little negative right now. I mean, today, um, you know, that was fine. I, I talked to my supervisor and he said, I get it, uh, don't worry, I don't record patient information. I do it on my own time. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but some of my videos, the reason that, you know, I look like garbage with uh, lines under my eyes and stuff, I go in sometimes, one time I went in for a video, I think it was the, um, I don't know if, I think it was the video where I said, what is a biomed? If I remember right, I recorded that video at 2 a.m. I went in at 1 a.m., I couldn't sleep, sometimes I get these ideas and I just got to get them out of my head. And I went into work, I recorded the video, and I just got it off my chest. I said exactly what our job is and, you know, what it means to me. And that one was recorded um, at 2 a.m., if I remember right correctly. And even this morning, I, I went into work extra early this morning. And it was a two-part thing. I had an item come into my shop with a very rare failure. And it's one of those failures that you normally call the manufacturer for. But I said, I, I want to get this on video because I can show you guys how to fix this problem. And you're going to save yourselves just crazy amounts of money and downtime, which is the most important thing. I mean, who cares about a thousand or two thousand dollars? If you can't use an item in a surgical procedure, you could have to cancel a case potentially. I don't know. But, you know, it's not like some of these items we have extras just floating around all the place. So if I can go in extra early, get the repair done, get it ready for service before the day even gets going on the, the, the surgical cases, then that's a huge win. I mean, they get the equipment that they, they want and they expect, and I get to record it on video of what it is so I can show you guys how to fix some of these problems. Well, anyway... I was, uh, today was a good day. It was very busy and it was a good day. Um, so we're getting ready to open a brand new hospital and that's where I come in is I'm 
coordinating with all these people and I've got all this equipment, a bunch of old equipment that's got to be converted over for the new utility lines and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's a lot, but it's a beautiful facility. And I work with some of the most amazing people. I really do. Uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, I don't have too much communication with my management. Um, but as far as the operating rooms and that communication with the director and all the coordinators, it's wonderful. i I haven't had this type of connection with people in a long, long time. And I love having that connection with the people that manage the show because it makes our job easier and we make their job easier. And so today was a good day. And then I got a call at what two o'clock, uh, one o'clock, something like that. It was the call that just ruined my day because ever since I got talked to by my supervisor, I, I change the format of all the footage that I release. I smear out any badges that I might be wearing. Um, I smear out if I'm, I'm wearing scrubs. And I don't want to be disingenuous about who I work for or where I work. So I just, from now on, even if it's archival footage, you know, stuff I recorded a year or so ago, I'm still going to go ahead and, and smear out, like, my name badges and stuff. That way there, there's no affiliation with anybody. And um, today I got the call where HR, they wanted to talk to me about my videos. And I thought, are you guys serious right now? I mean, because it's not like I've told anybody in any of these videos where I work or who I work for. Um, and some of the footage that I'm releasing is recorded a while ago, man, uh, before I even worked for this company. But whoever it is that I currently work with, that keeps reporting me. They're a coward. There's no other way to put it. I mean, somebody can come up to me and say, hey, uh, I don't really support what you're doing. You're going against policy or whatever. Um, just having that sort of input face to face and telling me, you know, what they're doing. And maybe I could express what my plans are, or what I'm doing. But to whoever it is, they're hiding behind policy. And they're just an absolute coward to, to continue and report me for things I mean, you don't even know where or when my videos were recorded. I mean, could you guys, can you guys honestly tell me, like, oh, that's definitely in a new facility? I mean, it, my last job, my last hospital, I had four different offices. Four. That's four different rooms that I could record video in and stuff. And nobody would even know, do I work for this hospital? Do I work for that hospital? You don't know. So now I'm getting reported for, for videos that... I could have created a long time ago. You don't know. Um, and so somebody is just toxic that I work with. And they're, they're watching this video for sure. I'll tell you right now. This person is going to watch this video. And I just want you to know you're a coward, man. Uh, you know, you're hiding behind a policy and you're trying to bring me down. And I'm not going to do anything that's going to ruin where I work. I'm not going to ruin anybody's, um, I'm not going to ruin any, anybody else's career, just my own. But the fact that somebody's taking extra strides to try and take me down because they don't support what I'm doing. And, and you see, the crazy thing is, is ever since I showed up at this job, I have a couple main goals. And one of my goals is that I want to uh, create teams like uh, better teams. You know, we every every hospital has pseudo teams, but I'm talking about people that work together and you can call somebody up and rely on them. Hey, man, I'm in a bind. Can you come over and help me out? Because that almost never happens. It's really rare. And I know some of you guys in your hospitals, you're like, man, I've got that team. Well, that's good for you. That's awesome, man. I had that team and I walked away from that team at at, at a prior hospital. And I'm really sad about that. Um, you know, some of, some of my, uh, career moves were because of position, sometimes pay and, you know, sometimes for family, um, you move to a new facility because, you know, it's a new location and sometimes your family needs that new location to be, uh, satisfied. So I've done those kind of moves before and, uh, I'm trying to attain that ultimate goal of being able to have teams again like real good teams and a positive environment, you know, where people enjoy coming to work 
and they love uh, working with you and for you. You know, I love working with my current operating room. I love that. Those guys are so awesome. They really are. Um, so I, if I have to leave this hospital, I'm going to be absolutely heartbroken. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm currently petitioning the legal department so that I can record videos. And, and these are just videos recorded in my office, in my own free time, on my time, not even on the clock. You know, I come in early so that I can do my rounds through the OR and whatnot. So if I'm going to come in early, I can come in earlier and record a video. Or if I see a really cool failure, I can record that during my lunch. You know, I, I will do that. I've worked through so many lunches, it's not even funny. But I have no problem doing that. Because, you know, one of the things that I really like about making these videos is not only uh, am I learning something and being able to project that to you guys, but I'm holding myself accountable for the things that I tell you guys. And that being, you know, if I'm talking about you need to have a certain work ethic or, you know, you need to do things in this order to be successful, well, you know, some, I'm living that. And I, I don't, you know, the worst thing in the world is to be a hypocrite. So I'm currently doing everything that I'm telling you guys and I'm trying my absolute hardest to be successful at what I do. And I, I'm trying to be a better biomed. You know, the title of this channel has nothing to do with you guys. No offense. That's about me on my journey to be a better biomed. Because we're all supposedly, hopefully, trying to improve ourselves, aren't we? So this whole thing, when I show you guys a video, it's not me like trying to show you guys so that you know necessarily. It's me showing you so I'm proving to myself that yes, you do know how to do this and you do know what you're talking about. In order for me to release some of this content, I have to study a lot on some of these topics. And I have invested hundreds, if not over a thousand hours. I, I don't even know, it's a lot. It's a really a lot at this point. Trying to come up with these videos. You know, there is research, there's scripting. You know, I have to record it, there's editing. There's times where I could be playing with my kids and they're coming up and they're jumping on me and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's absolute heartbreaking. But at the same time, you know, this, me doing these videos, it's part of me. It's part of what makes me better at my craft, which is my job. So, you know, in order for me to go up to my son or my daughter, you know, and for them to look up to me the way they do, you know, I'm trying to be a better me at the same time. So anyway, guys, um, I'm not going to make this video any longer. I just want to let you guys know that if my content changes or it becomes more vague or if I do a lot of more voiceover type of videos, that's simply because uh, I'm facing some hardships at this job. And those hardships are related to probably one toxic person. And I, at this point, I really don't know what to do. Um... You know, the easy solution would be, oh, just quit making videos and, you know, go on with your life. But that's, as I just expressed, that's not who I am. Uh, part of who I am is is creating this content so that it makes me better. And um, I really honestly don't know what I'm going to do at this point. You know, I'm going to go through my options with the legal department and see if I can get an exemption to their policy. And if I can, because I've got a history of videos and I can prove my goal and, and what I've been doing, then that would be fantastic because I, I would be absolutely heartbroken to have to leave this operating room team behind. But uh, at this point, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to look into other employment opportunities or if this hospital will miraculously give me some sort of exemption. But... Uh, I'm going to keep releasing videos. Uh, maybe the content's going to change, but uh, I'm, I'm doing this for, for me much more so than for you guys. And I, I don't mean that to sound so selfish, but it's, it's true. I'm trying to be a better me. And, uh, you know, if you guys learn something from me, I, I'm so humbled at the support that I've received from this channel. And uh, you biomeds are just awesome. You really are. I mean, if I could work with some of you guys, uh, we could make such an awesome team and we can get some stuff done. But uh, unfortunately, that's part of this career field is you got to work with some people that are toxic. And I haven't figured out who this person is. I've got my ideas. 
He's probably one of the negative people that expressed their negativity to me the very first day I started working at this job. But uh, I'm going to press forward on this and I'm going to see how this goes. Yeah, but uh, I'm not going to let somebody else dictate the content on my channel. You know, I'm doing this because I, I see some really cool stuff and I want to share that cool stuff with some of you guys. So that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I don't even know how to end it because, you know, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. But I really don't know what to do from here. And uh, it's going to be a hard couple of days because at the end of this week, I'm opening a brand new hospital. And it's going to be just a crazy amount of work. And crazy amount of work is a crazy amount of devotion to what you do. And you're investing in it. And all this time that I'm going to be at this hospital, I'm not spending time with my family. You know, I, when I'd like to, I'm, I'm going to be working some crazy long hours because we are going to be successful. You know, this this is going to be a, a successful opening of this hospital and uh, we are going to take care of some patients. So, all right, guys, that's the end of this video. And uh, I'm sorry that it was a rant and I just continued on like this. But uh, today was kind of a downer and uh, I'm really just trying to figure out where I go from here. So I'll see you all next time.